Hey guys, Screwman here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install your RTX 5070 Ti on your computer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it using the 12 volt high power cable and using the adapter that this GPU comes with after a quick word from today's video sponsor. The number one mistake PC gamers make is paying full price for Windows 11 just to get that that damn watermark out of the way. Never pay full price again thanks to VIP SCD keys. Use code MAN to get 20% off your next order and save over $150 for a Windows Pro key. And thanks to VIP SCD keys, you can take that money that you save, put it towards whatever you need for your build. And we're talking over $100, which is pretty incredible. They also sell game keys like Nightingale at a discount and you can use code KTT to get an additional 3% off your next order. So thanks again to VIPSCDKey.com for sponsoring this video and never pay full price on Windows 10 or 11 keys again. All right, so first we're going to show you how to install this with the 12 volt high power cable. Now I do recommend either my brands of choice right now, I really like the MSI power supplies and the Be Quiet ones, whether it be the dark power or the, the pure power models, I think they're both all great. You want to make sure that you use an A tier power supply and you want it to be at least 750 watts. I'd probably recommend 850 to be safe just in case you ever plan on upgrading, but 750 is fine as well. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to inspect the cable and you're going to want to make sure that, that nothing looks wrong. You don't have any wires that are recessed too far in or anything that looks like it could damage the GPU. Next, you're going to want to check the GPU right here. Everything looks fine. Now, I have heard no issues of of 5070 Ti's catching on fire, but you never know. Okay, so this is what we call a test bench, but pretend this is your PC. You should always lay your PC flat on its side when installing it. So first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna just line it up and you're just gonna slide it in. You gotta hear a click like that. And you just wanna make sure it's laying flat and it is. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to screw it in and you can just pretend that these are screws that would go on your PC case. Like I said, this is a test bench, an open air bench, so this is a little different than normal. But for the purposes of this video, it is more than sufficient. All right, so now it is correctly installed. So the next thing you got to do is you got to connect it with your cable. So we have two options, the 12 volt high power cable that comes with the power supply that you have. And I would recommend having at least a one to two year old power supply for these GPUs, maybe three, but nothing older than three. And if you're going to spend about a thousand dollars on a GPU or close to it, buying a new power supply shouldn't be an issue. Or you can use the adapter that comes with it. All right. So first we're going to do the 12 volt high power. I already told you you have to inspect it. All right. Next, you're going to want to pre-bend the cable as you line it up. Like so, you don't want to bend it when it's already plugged in or it could potentially get loose. So you pre-bend it, you line it up to make sure that it fits. Okay, so it's lined up and you just push it in and you should hear a click, you ready? I'm gonna put this close to it, the mic so that you can hear it. Okay, did you hear that click? That means it's successfully installed and everything is good to go. You wanna make sure that there's no gap and that is one of the reasons I like the MSI power supply because it has yellow on 12 volt high power cable as well. Okay, so now that's done and we are good to go. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't go anywhere if you're looking to get this adapter installed. All right, next, how to install if you have this adapter. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna get your power supply and you're gonna wanna use two separate six to eight pins not daisy chaining where there's one at the end, two separate cables. You see how these are separate cables? That is the only way you want to install this as otherwise you will cause a fire. So you see, just like that, that's it. This is how you correctly install it. No pigtails. You can use a cable with pigtails as long as you only connect one. This power supply on this bench does not have pigtails. All right, so once these are connected, then you wanna do any pre-bends on the cable if you want. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to line it up. You're gonna to wanna to insert it most of the way. And then I'm gonna put the mic over, you can listen for the click. You heard the click? It's in, it's good, and we are successfully installed. 
So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them. But if we're going to be frank, it's if you want to get my attention, it's best to leave a super chat as this all takes time to film and time is money. And I wish I had more of it so I could help you guys. But if you super chat, I should be able to get around. I will definitely get around to helping you out with your problem. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and there will be a link to suggested power supplies. They're all affiliate links and they help the channel. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Peace out.